Do you guys remember Rob Liefeld? If you don't, then I really don't fucking blame you, because Jesus fuck nuts. Look at his art. Jesus Christ. He's a comic artist who, alongside Todd McFarlane, Eric Larson, Jim Lee, and a few others, all these people better artists than Rob Liefeld, they, they left Marvel in dramatic fashion to form Image Comics, thus leading to Spawn, Wildcats, uh, Savage Dragon, and uh, Shadowhawk. It also led to The Max, uh, shit, Supreme by Alan Moore, and uh, Young Blood. Oh! 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 Fucking yeesh. Robert Kirkman actually liked Young Blood before I think he wrote a volume of it. He created Invincible and The Walking Dead, so I guess he knows his shit. Before he left Marvel, Rob Liefeld was still an artist, uh, doing art for New Mutants and X-Force, you know. He created Deadpool, remember? Uh, his art was super popular. It made Marvel tons of money, alongside the artwork of Todd McFarlane uh, and Eric Larson, you know. This brings me to my next point. Did you know he was in a fucking Levi's commercial? I didn't. I didn't think he'd be in a Levi's. I didn't think he'd be in a commercial at all. Here's the crazier thing about this. Did you know that this Levi's commercial was directed by Spike Lee? Wait. Wait a minute. What the fuck did I just say? can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I know Spike really knows his comic stuff because, you know, uh, Do the Right Thing mentions Black Panther. Shit, I was born and raised on Sal's Pizza. What the fuck you talking about? Black Panther pizza? We pizza, <laughs> boy. But why this guy? Have you seen his art? I don't think people are clamoring for it. Oh, well. This is the commercial. So how long have you been drawing comic books? So I was about seven years old, little kid. What would your parents think about it? They hated it. They hated it. Oh, yeah. After I, I got a job and they saw that you can make a living out of third day, you'll hear no complaints anymore. And you created X-Force? Mm -hmm. So what is this drawing on? This is the Spike Man. And what's this right here? This is the camera on top of your head that will record the wrongdoings of others. So Rob, have you had any formal art training? No. Just uh, a lot of imagination, I think. Wait, so, so I say it and then look down? Or just open it and say it? Fly button? God, I gained so much respect for Rob Liefeld, especially after seeing this commercial. I mean, I still hate his artwork. It sucks major cock. This artwork is so fucking terrible! But Rob seems like such a cool guy. And the way he created Spike's superhero form, it was fucking awesome. That is Rob Liefeld's best art. I gotta get a copy of The Spike Man. I want to see Spike Lee create his own comics. I think it'd be really cool. Yeah. Hmm. Now, what I'm wondering is how the fuck did this happen? I was actually catching a plane to go to WonderCon that year. I didn't think anything would come of it, but before I walked out the door, I ran and I said, hey, my name is Rob Liefeld. I dropped comic books in my 501, uh, you know, button fly jeans. Uh, I wear these all the time while I make comics and cartoons. You should call me. About six weeks later, at nine o'clock at night, I got a call from Levi's asking if they could come and videotape me for a day to then send footage to the corporate company to see if they'd pick me. Hmm. They did. They did some what you would call just kind of B-roll of me drawing. They looked at my office. And uh, then they called me back and said I was selected. Spike would be coming out to film me in my office. And I was, what the heck? Spike Lee is coming. It's gonna be great! Oh. Huh. Wait, that's not even his office? That's just a fucking set that Spike Lee created? Why does it look so much like his office? Well, right before, about a week before, they said, Rob, Spike cannot fly to you. You're gonna need to come to Brooklyn and we're gonna book you for two days here at his um, 40 Acres and a Mule. 
uh, production company at, at their sound stages. And I'm like, but how are you going to replicate my office? They're going to go, we're going to make it look like Fullerton. When oh, I wow. got there to shoot and met Mr. Spike Lee, uh, I walked into an area that was replicated. I saw that Hollywood magic, man. I am now <laughs> in Fullerton, California, in Brooklyn. Huh. Ah, man. The editing is so good. I'm assuming that either Barry Brown or Sam Pollard uh, edited this commercial. God, they edit like how I edit my videos. Which isn't a bad thing, considering I've been so influenced by Spike Lee's style that I just end up calling my videos joints. But, you know. I'm also assuming that Ernest Dickerson was the cameraman behind it all. If he is, God, I'd love to see him direct the thing that I created. He's off directing television episodes and movies now. He hasn't worked with Spike Lee since he became the second unit director and cinematographer for Miracle at St. Anna? Santa Anna? I gotta talk about that movie sometime. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess he got a... I guess he got a shorter video than ever, though. Honestly, I need to make these short burst videos so I got more to talk about. Uh, next time... I don't know, actually. Um... Hold on. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Do I send someone reviewing Sonic Adventure 2? Oh, hell no. They ain't doing it without my crazy ass. <laughs>